Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. Please welcome to Home Garden and Fashion. Today I'll show you how to make this beautiful net sari. It's a sari creation, the entire sari. The sari side is in a stitching and then the sari fall stitching and then the decorating the sari at the end, putting lace in it. So to stitch the side, you just fold it and then do a stitch in the side it's just like the same way i have done the dupatta stitching so go back to the dupatta stitching video and learn that from there so now i'll continue with the fall stitching now the for stitching the fall you need to leave about this much about this much about half a yard of fabric you leave and then you start stitching the fall. These falls are available at uh, any of the Indian sari store. These are just fabric which is about five yards of fabric. So you can just make it yourself about three inches this side and this side five yards of fabric. Make sure the fabric is thin fabric not very thick fabric. Now I have done this far so I'll show you with the rest. So what you need to do is fold the bottom of the sari like this and then use the sari fall like this. Match it with the bottom of the This sari is net sari so it's gonna be a little bit of challenge. And this is all to you can pin it but I just decided to show you just like that so now you stitch it little little stitches so this how you stitch the sari with the fall again you fold this one you can make it fold like this and push it down so it will go down. Now this um, net fabric I got about 6 yards. And this was also after hollowing on sale. It was like 75% off. And it didn't cost me very much. But after the decoration it will look stunning. And I will do this entire sari decoration with you. So it will be coming in many, many series. So this is the series one. So creating this and decorating this. So you hold this together. And then go here. very long stitches in the back short stitches in the front like this so like this you hold and you see short stitches in the front long stitches at the back so continue like this going the entire sari fall and then once you are done with this side then you have to go back to the other side to stitch but this is exactly the same way so like this see if this part is inside so long long stitches this side doesn't matter this part is outside so outside short stitches inside long stitches so you will go around the entire thing, entire sari like this. So you fold it. Better to pin it. If you're doing first time, I would advise to pin it. It makes really easy if you pin it. Now 
Now we do like this. So this is how you stitch the fall. Okay, now for the other side, once you've done one side, and then for the other side, you're gonna put this sari like this, and you have to hold it from the side, and then do this side. And this side, you need to put it on a table or some place, and keep picking up little, little from that side. And show you how it is done. So suppose you're doing from this side, so you hold it like this and you start from here with the fall holding like this. You pin it though, and this side really needs pinning. And then you continue like stitching like this and every time you stitch you need to flatten it so it doesn't get wrinkled. So that's how you do this. Now I'll show you the lace. Now this is the lace. It was very cheap. This was um, nine yards of lace for only two dollars. For the lace, it's better to use the fabric whichever the lace is color because the inside one will go other side of the Sorry, so you need the exact color of the lace. This is how you do it. Now this is silk thread, so it will be a little difficult. But you have to be gentle in pulling that. Silk thread is hard to stitch. So now you see this the same thing you have to stitch very little in the front and big stitches at the back like this and this Lace is really, really pretty. It's gonna look really beautiful on the screen. Net sari. So I'm gonna create this entire sari while we go through this video series. So as you see, you have big stitches at the bottom and very little on the top. And you have the thread exactly matching to your lace if you really want the thread to match your lace you need to get silk thread because silk thread colors are really bright now like this you continue the entire section which will take a little while more than 30 minutes and then you go back to the top and you have to stitch the top too because this is wide lace so for doing this we're gonna do this one row the entire row whole nine yard and then we stitch the top and then we will leave about say about four inches and we'll start a second lace so that will give our give us about four inches of space in the middle to do some different decoration or design so i will show you this one little bit more few more lines and then you can continue with it and we will meet with our next video to show how we were gonna do the middle design so we'll go through with this entire sari decoration with you step by step for about I, I guess about three or four videos to finish the entire decoration and after we do that we have ourselves a stunning sari 
which probably cost say less than $25 or maybe less than $20 so go continue doing like this all around so we'll meet after we finish this whole nine yard on the bottom and nine yard on the top thank you so much for joining me this is melody from home garden and passion don't forget to subscribe like and comment thank you bye bye